Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Charlie Drives. Ahead of our long journey to Spain in the Defender, we've got uh, Luke from Rye Valley here to wash the car, um, just preparing it for going away and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll leave all of the details for iValet in the description below so you guys can uh, check them out. I would definitely recommend them. They do a really professional job um, of sorting out the cars. They look after all of the cars that I've got and they're a pretty epic bunch of guys, so go check them out. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So, after the amazing job that iValet have done, I'm now going to start packing the car. Um, the car has been fully fueled, so we have uh, a tank full of diesel, totally brimmed it, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get the maximum out of the car on the journey. I'm gonna go in in a second and check all of the settings to make sure that the car is set up perfectly for the long journey. We're gonna have a car full, so it's gonna be weighted down a little bit. So I wanna make sure the tire pressures are all correct and I'll let you know what I end up setting those to if I change them. And yeah, let's take it from there. Anyway, when we were filling up with fuel, look what parked next to us. So, first things first, the most important part of the trip is to have a nice stash for the beers. So I'm gonna take this out. Comes out completely, which is awesome. And look at the size of that area here. So that's where all of the cans are gonna go. Um, so we're gonna put all the cans in there. So yeah, we'll get that filled up. Might leave this, should we leave this here or no, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll just take it, take it still. All right, let's figure it out. Okay, so do you think that's a bit excessive? We've got a shared load of beers in there. Now, the question is, can we shut, can we put the, the, the plastic thing back on? Will it go flat or not? We'll see, I don't think so. You don't think so? I think it will. It's not, is it? It will. Don't do it so you pierce the can. Okay, cool. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Right, just checking the uh, tire pressures and um, the handbook says that there's a label on the door, or somewhere near the door, that tells you where, what the tire pressures are supposed to be. But, that's just telling me the colour and how heavy the car is. And on this side... Nada! And then there's this one, which means diddly squat, I think. Because that's nothing to do with tyre sizes. So... I don't think it is. Anyway, so... Let me check the fuel filler area because that's sometimes a common place to do it as well. Nope. Mystery. Hmm. Watch the space. Hi guys. Um, so uh, just a quick little update. Um, we are now in Spain but um, I wanted to, while I was editing the video, I actually found the sticker for the tyre pressures. So the sticker is here. The sticker is down here on this part of the door. So the manual suggested it's around there, but actually it's right there. So you can see what it says. But interestingly, it says um, the PSI should be 50 
uh, maximum PSI should be 50. The tire wall suggests that you should not inflate to more than 50. And on the, um, on the head up display here, it actually says you should be over 50. So I'd be very careful about um, following the display like I say in the video, but anyway. Hopefully that's useful. So I've changed the driver mode, as you can see here, to eco. So we're in eco mode at the moment. I think eco is probably gonna be the best for motorway use, but we'll let you know how that goes. Um, also in the settings, this is uh, fi figured out where we changed the speedo. So as soon as we hit um, into France and Spain, we can change it into kilometers per hour, which is fantastic. I'm still gonna work out the tire pressure issue though. This is a message that does come up quite regularly uh, just sort of like sitting here not having we haven't got the engine on um, but the car's sort of been sat here for maybe five ten minutes and we've already got this message here so yeah and hopefully it doesn't mean we won't be able to start the car up tomorrow anyway i'll turn on the engine those of you who are wondering whether the tire pressure information would be on um here it's not it's actually on this menu here so when you go into the the main settings you've got your vehicle things here and you can see show warnings and then we've got tire information and that's the tire pressures and this is where we can do the load setting and i'm going to go for heavy load there we go tire pressure monitoring set for heavy load right so now the question is do we get a warning about the tire pressures being too low let's have a look At the moment, it doesn't seem like it, so I think that's relatively good news um, that we haven't got any warnings showing up on the dash at the moment. I don't know whether I need to drive the car to get those warnings, so I think what I'm going to probably do is keep an eye on the pressures. Uh, once we've got everything loaded in the car, I'll keep an eye on the pressures and um, if we need to stop to maybe bump up the pressures on the way then we'll do that but at the moment I will uh, just leave them as they are. I'll tell you what they're set to at the moment though. So this gives you actually here we are so based on this the advised PSI for the current settings is 48.2, 48.2 at the front and 50.6 at the back. So based on that, I think what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, tire pump out and um, just increase the tire pressures. I might not do to quite that level, but I'm gonna make sure they're even on either side. But yeah, for anyone wondering um, how to figure out what your tire pressures need to be, it says it on this menu here. So just clicking on that and going to tire information, go to tire information, go to tire pressures, and it will tell you uh, what your actual pressures are. And then in the brackets, that is what you are advised to have based on the current settings of the car. So yeah, there we go. All right, so almost loaded the car and been pumping up the tires. So the, the information is incredibly vague and you have to rely on the recommended screen here so as you can see I'm actually going to take it for, for a little test drive but I've, I've set the the tire pressure monitoring to heavy load and I haven't quite got it up to the PSI figures that it's advising here um, I, I'm gonna see how we get on with these pressures and then take it from there but yeah anyway Need to get the rest of the car packed up and get to bed because it's an early start tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, I'll see you for the next video then. See you later, cheers, bye. So we are now in France, as we can see. The engine has obviously been off and we've had the whole system off, but we now have this warning on the dash which is again it's a it's another concerning thing i mean i i, I expect they're being very conservative but yeah you kind of you know makes you worry a little bit this is the moment of truth will the car start or have we killed the battery by just sitting in the car not doing anything